Welcome into this Lion Vision update with UNA head football coach Chris Willis. The North Alabama football team over the weekend defeated Florida Tech 30-7 to on homecoming. And coach, we were actually down 7-3 to at the halftime intermission. Uh, you actually told us during our halftime interview on the broadcast that you didn't think the defense could play any better than what they played in the first half. And then in the second half they came out, intercepted four passes, returned one for a touchdown, and blocked a punt. And, and that was really what changed the game for us. Yeah, I mean, um, we were won that football game because of our special team unit and our defensive unit and um, I think I told this on my you know TV show you know if you can win two of the three you know you got a chance and we did and offensively right now we're just out of sync in a lot of ways and it's it's a lot of because of the lack of depth we've got over there and we're not playing very well at quarterback uh, I don't think that's no secret we all can see that and um, but defense came up, you know. I, but here's the one thing I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna say it till I'm blue in the face. Being, I tell you every week, if we don't turn the football over, we're good enough on defense to give ourselves a chance to win every football game. If you go back to West Georgia and West Alabama, uh, two good football teams, we don't turn the football over. Them them games are different. The, you know, it may go into the fourth quarter with a chance to win, but it's not 38 to 17 or whatever the scores might have been. So. Uh, we didn't turn the football over, and the offense scored when they had the ball in short field. And so they did their part when they were able to. But uh, we got to get better offensively. Will Evans, coach, was named Gulf South Conference Freshman of the Week and Special Teams Player of the Week uh, out of Haleyville, Alabama. A backup linebacker for you, but he had the game-changing punt block. Pretty big play for the true freshman. No, it was. You know, here's a guy that was committed to Florida Tech on his way to Florida Tech to play football. And with about a week to go, we were able to – turn him and get him back this way and it's just you know there he is blocking the punt against Florida Tech so we got a good group of young linebackers good young players you think about Christian Taylor's already won I think Gulf South defensive player of the week as a freshman of the week and so now we've got our second guy to do that that's that's big to have freshmen pop up to win these honors and I'm proud of Will and he's only he's, he's only going to get better as we move forward. This Saturday, the Lions will be on the road taking on the Shorter Hawks, a much improved Shorter team on the year. What's the early scouting report on the Shorter? Well, I haven't been able to watch a lot of film. I've been all over the place today a little bit. Um, our coordinators, I haven't met with them. I'll meet with them as the day goes. But, you know, here's a team that, you know, under a new coach still, I think it's his second year, and they're still trying to get things building. You know, that they – they're, uh, they're struggling a little bit offensively from the looks of it, you know, uh, as well. And it looks like they, they, they have a pretty solid defense. I know their defensive coordinator, good guy. He does a good job. And, you know, I, I don't know all their injuries internally, like a lot of people probably don't know about ours, but uh, they may have some. I know the running back's back that was hurt, you know, a year before and a good player. So, you know, we got to handle the, the logistics of travel. Early kickoff, 12 o'clock our time, 1 o'clock their time. Last road trip didn't go very well when we played during the game. I'm more worried about us than am the opposing team. Road trip this weekend for North Alabama, heading to Rome, Georgia, to take on the Shorter Hawks. Kickoff at 12 p.m. Central. You can catch the radio coverage at 11.30 a.m. on 97.1 WBCF-FM.